Welcome everyone, my name is Travis and I'm going to go ahead and give you a tutorial on how to make a simple JavaScript slider and we're going to, I'm going to show you exactly what the finished product is going to look like. It's going to look like this. Uh, nothing too fancy schmancy but you need to know it just so you know all the functionalities that, uh, that comes with making a slider like this. It scrolls like it's supposed to uh, from image to image. It's got a description that goes with it. I can hit previous to go to the previous image. I can hit next to go to the next images. And it goes all the way back to image one again. And if I hover over this, it stops the image completely. And when I get my mouse out, the image resumes back to where it was. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this uh, using JavaScript. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is you want to open up your favorite text editor, whether it be Notepad++ or whatever. Um, or if you're on a Mac, you'd probably want to use Text Wrangler or whatever you like. But I'm going to use a program called Komodo. Komodo is an interesting program. It's free to download. Uh, just it's uh, K O M O D O. You can type that in your favorite uh, search engine, and you can download it for free. I like Komodo because it helps me with my syntax, uh, and you'll see why here in a minute. So I'm going to start off with a new file, file new, and HTML, and boom, already Komodo got all that basic stuff out of the way for me, so that's kind of nice. Okay, we're going to go ahead and give this a title, we'll call it fun with JavaScript image scroller and we're going to go ahead and start uh, here in the body first thing we want to do, we'll give it some space here is I want to have a div give it an ID equal to container and that's it for now um, later on in probably the next part of the tutorial I'm going to get more into, I'm going to be uh, going back to my HTML here and updating it, things like that, so I get that full functionality. But right now we're just going to get the basics of the basics out of the way. I'm going to take this one step at a time. Next thing I want to do is I want to put an image tag, image src equals, oh before I continue on guys, you want to make sure you have a folder that's got all your images in it that you want to use like right now I got all these images here uh, and I'm going to be using those test images for this tutorial so far and you want to make sure that you, know, you have everything all saved in one area be nice and neat and clean or whatever so anyways I'm calling it images slash image one dot png Okay, if you guys are wondering why I call it that, first of all, I have a folder called Images. Inside my Images folder, I have an image1.png. So, that's why I call it Images slash image1.png. tells exactly where this SRC, tells exactly where the source is for this image, if that makes any sense. Okay, just for basic HTML there. And I'm going to continue on. In fact, I'm going to give this a height of oh I don't know let's say 145 pixels and a width of 250 pixels and an ID equal to I want to give it a descriptive name how about photo actually we'll get lower caps here photo slider and that should be good so we got a our images is going to be stored there and then we're going to simply end this div here and I should uh, space this out for oops, space this out and then we're going to go ahead and begin our script tag before we do though I want to show you exactly what just happened so I'm going to hit file, save as, we'll name this JavaScript Roller. 
Uh, what's his name? Just Scroller. Whatever. And it's already got my .html extension on here, so that's really nice. I'm going to go ahead and load this. And as you can see, we have our image here. And it's not going to do anything because I didn't put no JavaScript to it yet. But basically what's going to happen is it's going to rotate to the next image. Um, and we're going to go on from there. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of that to show you exactly what we did. And now we want to go ahead and open up with script tags. So script type equals oops, text slash JavaScript. And I'm going to give it some space. And now we're going to start uh, putting some, some variables in here. Var. Uh, we're going to name it feature image. Because it's going to be the image that's featured each time the slide goes through. You can name it whatever you want. That's just what I'm going to name it. Equals document dot get element by ID. And you're trying to referencing the ID here. And I want to, and the ID I want to give it is photo slider. Then I'm going to go var. And give uh, give another variable here. Um, var index equals zero. Okay. Only thing I did so far was I referenced this to where my ID is up here. Really simple. Um, and I say get element by ID. This is an ID, and this index here is uh, something I'm going to be using later on. It's going to be whenever I whenever I create an array, um, the very first item in the array is an index of zero. Next with an index of one, and then index of two, or whatever how long your array is. So I'm just naming it index. You can actually name it whatever you want. All right, we're going to create a. No, we're not going to. Actually, I'm going to get... i got to create my image array. Equals. Okay. Whenever you do an arrays, you want to make sure you got these brackets in there. And I'm going to have the... Uh, since this is going to be an image array, I need to go ahead and grab my images from my folder. So same thing, image one dot png. Even though it's already up there, you still need to put it back in here. And I'm going to do this exact same thing uh, about five times. So let's go ahead and copy that. Control V, comma, Control V, so on and so forth. And of course, I'm going to name this two because that's what I named my other image. Four and five. Okay, and after you're done, you put a semicolon at the end. Always end your statements in JavaScript with semicolons. So it's a good habit to get into. And that should be about it. Now I need to create a function. So in order to create a function, you type in the word function. Uh, a function is kind of like a mini program inside the program itself. And you definitely need one for, uh, for this tutorial. And we're going to call this, we can call it whatever we want. I'm going to call it new image. And let's see. I'm going to say feature image, which is the variable that we made up here. We're calling dot set attribute. And we're going to give a name of the, of the uh, attribute, SRC, which is a reference to the source up here. That source. Actually, it's kind of like a mini variable in a way. And an image array, which is the value that I want the source to be given. And I want to give it index, which is the... Actually, I screwed that up. It's got to be brackets, not French curly braces. There we go. Which is uh, what's going to happen here is the feature image, which I already created up here, which is in the photo slider. 
is that the attribute is set to the source up here for the images and it's going to cycle through this image array index here and it's going to start with zero because all arrays start with zero this is zero right here zero and then one two three and then four but we're not done yet we need to increase the index uh, increase the index each time it goes through here otherwise it's going to be stuck on just this first one here however uh, we don't want it to keep going on for, for forever otherwise it's not going to go back to our first image so we need to put an if statement in here so we go if index is greater than or equal to image array dot length perform a function or perform some code okay and the code's going to be index equals zero and I'm going to explain what just happened here okay basically what happens is I uh, made a statement saying if the index which is the array let's say it's, it's zero one two three right dot length length means the very end of the array so in this case there's four things in the array starting with zero again there's four things in this array so when it gets to the fourth item of the array I want the index to be reset back to zero that's basically what this if statement is saying okay and so hopefully that made sense to everybody and last piece of code here is set interval new image you want to call your function and you want to give it some time. I don't know, let's say 3000, which stands for milliseconds, by the way. And you want to end your script tag there if you already haven't done so. And you want to save it, and it should work. I'll go to File, Load. And it should begin cycling through the images. Actually, I made a small mistake, folks. I know what I did. Uh, it's supposed to create the I'm supposed to put the put this variable before the index. That's my fault folks. Okay, hit save. Hit reload. And watch it go ahead and cycle through the images. Oh, I know what I did. put S there. You gotta make sure you name your stuff exactly what your images are named. And for real this time it'll work. Go ahead, save, and reload. Okay, now this is just a basic, we're gonna be doing a whole lot more. But this is just a basic scroller here. The idea is we're, we want to add some functionality to this later on. Um, to where we have a previous and next buttons and ribbo and where we're able to put our mouse on here and it'll stop um, and just different attributes later on so I'm going to show you that in the next tutorial but if you want just a simple slider with nothing to it just something that scrolls images um, you're basically done you need not go on to the next part however if you want to add a, a function to stop this when, I, when my mouse is over it I'm going to show you how to do that and how to put the previous and next buttons in here and, and function them accordingly so that's it for this tutorial. I hope everything's been pretty helpful and useful to you guys. Um, I'll see you in the next part.